Well, hello, everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today's episode is the long awaited Dominator Dodge Dart episode. Now, the photos on this video are taken from the Dominator Facebook page, so go check out that Facebook page. Support the racer. Please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more content coming in the near future. All about the 405 show and No Prep Kings and all No Prep racing in general. So, Dominator is one of the nicest guys in drag racing and also one of the most knowledgeable guys on the street outlaw world and probably drag racing as well. He is a chassis builder, engine builder, tuner, everything. As I mentioned in the Kamikaze video, this is one of the only cars that are built by the driver himself. This car was completely built by Joe himself. The engine was built by himself as well, so everything. And it's one of the only cars that actually looks very similar to how it looked back in Season 1. A lot of the other cars have had huge upgrades. They look way different. Now, this car looks very similar to how it looked back in 2013 in Season 1. Engine combination, as many Mopar fans or fans of the Mopar community know of is a big block chevy 540 cubic inch aluminum hip block twin 98 millimeter turbos so it makes a lot of horsepower but it's not a hemi and it's a chevy on a dodge and a lot of people don't like that well as of the end of last year or the start of this year dominator spread the news he was getting a noonan hemi now anybody in the drag racing community knows noonan Noonan is top of the line Hemis. They actually hold the fastest centrifugally supercharged door car record right now at 552 at 259, I believe. So they make huge power. They're extremely high quality. And Dominator is putting one of these motors in his car. I know this is not new news, but I really haven't talked about this. So, obviously the power capability is going to be a lot greater than the uh, big block Chevy. Dominator claims he had 75 pounds of boost on the big block Chevy. And on that platform, at that boost level, if you slip on the tune-up a little bit, you're going to grenade the motor. Capability and the power on the Hemi is going to be way greater. It's also an all-billet motor, I believe. So it's going to lose some weight. And the car is going to be faster. And if he can get some weight out of that car, which I believe he is doing right now, because this car was 3,200 pounds, a lot overweight from the uh, twin 98 millimeter turbo combination rules, it's going to be a lot faster. So uh, we better watch out for this car, especially in the no prep uh, king circuit or standard no prep races. This car is going to be very, very fast. So... Check out Dominator on Facebook and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming.